Welcome to the ultimate and final Module 5 video. This is on S-Corporation compliance. So estimated taxes for a, an S-Corp are due generally the same as a C-Corp. But recall that S-Corps generally aren't taxable. So the only reason that comes up is if they have to pay one of those arcane taxes we didn't discuss, like the built-in gains tax or the passive income tax. So S corporations file a form called an 1120S due the 15th day of the third month. So same as partnerships, a calendar year you end, that would be May, May, March 15. They also complete a schedule K1 for each shareholder. So here's what 1120S looks like. Should look kind of familiar, right? Information, uh, identification information at the top. And then we start the uh, calculation of ordinary business income, starting with line one, working our way down to line 21, similar to a partnership, right? Not similar to a corp, but similar to a partnership. We take that ordinary business income and it lands on schedule K of the 1120S there on line one. And like the partnership tax return, then we have all the different separately stated items broken out on schedule K. Those items tie directly to the Schedule K-1 that's associated with an S corporation. You'll see that it's Schedule K-1 Form 1120-S. And that brings us to the end of this module. Thanks for watching.